Audio article by the Common Constitutionalist entitled New Sheriff at the FCC Will Undo Net Neutrality. Free speech has been on the lips of many these days. In conservative circles, it has usurped most other news. To some extent it should, for without it, where would we be? Of the many free speech issues, none has received more press than has the UC Berkeley v. Ann Coulter flap. This issue goes to the heart of free speech and the Constitution. The right claims that Ms. Coulter has the right to speak and that her speech should be protected just as any leftist speaker would be. Of course, at Berkeley, a leftist speaker would more likely be canonized than protested or shut down. While the issue of Ann Coulter's right to speak at Berkeley and her guaranteed safety is an important one, a recent Trump appointment that may affect all our free speech should be getting a lot more press than the college speaking circuit. While everyone has been busy with Obamacare, tax cuts, and World War III and Ann Coulter, President Trump, without much fanfare, has appointed a man who will have the authority to reaffirm our First Amendment right of free speech and expression. This, my friend, is a big effing deal, as Joe Biden would say. Ajit Pai has been the only reasonable voice in the swamp of big government authoritarianism at the Federal Communications Commission, or the FCC, for years. The status at the FCC are no different from the status in all other departments of the federal government. They believe it is their duty to control the flow of everything from goods and services to information. Well, Pai disagrees. Ajit Pai is a champion of free and unencumbered speech, which is why President Trump should be congratulated for appointing him to the head of the SEC. You think things were tense at justice when Sessions came aboard? Just imagine what the jackboots at the FCC think of this appointment. Someone who actually believes that the government shouldn't control the flow of information. In 2014, the HuffPo reported that Pai, who was one of the three commissioners, had the nerve to complain publicly that, quote, the FCC would be conducting a multi-market study of critical information needs to question radio and TV reporters and editors about how they determine which stories to run and which not to run. The study would also ask about perceived station bias and perceived responsiveness to underserved populations. The object of this exercise was to be the basis for Obama's push for net neutrality, not only for the over-the-airwave broadcast, but also extending enforcement to the Internet, the last bastion of true free speech. The eventuality of this study was to reclassify the Internet as a utility so that the government, for the sake of diversity and public interest, could control its contents and therefore pick winners and losers. Naturally, we conservatives would be the losers. And sure enough, as IBD writes, quote, the FCC imposed net neutrality rules on the Internet in February of 2015. The argument made by leftist consumer groups and some industry players was that without federal intervention, Internet service providers would treat traffic differently, charging more for those who seek to get in the fast lane, unquote. The FCC now had virtually unlimited powers to regulate internet rates, impose fees, and require businesses to get approval for a wide range of business decisions. But now there is a new sheriff at the FCC, and that new sheriff intends to undo the entirety of the Obama overreach. Of course, he will be fought every step of the way by the same leftist cabal which originally initiated the rules, but Pi is tough enough to take any roadblocks they throw at him. Unlike some on the right, don't expect Pi to shy away from a fight. Thanks for listening.